granted us and give us, given us this opportunity to spend this time in offering prayer and the beginning of our day with the fasting and then offering prayer and all day inshallah this is the best time for us and best opportunity to spend some time in ibadat and most of the time by pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is called Sayyidul Ayyam the best day of the week is Jumatul Mubarak so spending this time in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Tasbih and Tahleel is a great opportunity for all of us if you get a chance you can read Salatul um, Awwabin after Maghrib you can do more Tilawat you can recite so inshallah the day will be with full of blessing and Rahmah the hadith from Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala inna attaqa'a ala al-amali inna rittaqa'a ala al-amali ashaddu min al-amal the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that protection of any action is more important and harder than doing any action this is very significant and very important point we have to note sometime the action is itself is very difficult you have to fight against nafs, you have to fight against shaitan and then do some hasana whether it is salat, whether it is zakat, whether any other charity, anything which you are doing but after doing action al controlling it and holding it and keeping it it is more important and how to hold it the example is given and how we lose the reward of our amal وَإِنَّ الرَّجُلَ لَيَعْمَلُ الْعَمَلَ فَيُكْتَبُ لَهُ عَمَلٌ صَالِحٌ مَعْمُولٌ بِهِ فِي السِّرِّ the person have did any amal, any action. So the reward was written for him. And the reward was not ordinary amal and ordinary action. It was the reward of doing something very secretly. Without telling anyone. Ma'amulun bi fi sirri. So yudda'afu ajrahu sab'ina di'afan. So the reward was 70 times. One action someone is committed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the secrecy and because of his pure intention rewarded him 70 times. Then what's happened? فَلَا يَزَالُ بِهِ الشَّيْطَانُ حَتَّى يَذْكُرَهُ لِلنَّاسِ So the Satan was missing that this person had done such a beautiful action that for one action he got 70 times reward. So the Satan was following him, the devil following him and the first attempt of the Satan to make it from secret to open. Hatta yadkurahu linnas. So he told, tells someone, I have done this great job. You know, normally we say, the, the shaitan is always play with, our, with us and say, oh, listen, the people should know, the people should know. They will praise it, they will, they will appreciate it, okay? So the person caught in deception of shaitan and he mentioned to someone, Wa yu'alinahu so now it's become from secret to open. So the reward was from the very secret and hidden is become to the open. So the extra reward which he achieved of doing something very secretly, very without telling anyone, without informing anyone, all these reward decreased. This is the first attempt of shaitan. This is the first attack of shaitan. He's always with you. So, the reward is decreased. But still is hasana. Thumma la yazalu bihi shaitan hatta yadkurahu linnasi thaniya. Again, the shaitan inciting the person that no, you have to highlight it more publicize it more. The more people know you are a good person, the better is for you. And the people will praise you. It is hasana. The good thing should be highlighted. The good, the good thing should be... The, the people should know and this is more better. So somehow, other deception of a person, even telling one person was not enough and sufficient. Now is shaitan is playing with your nafs. Playing with our nafs that one person is not enough, the other should know. You know, sometimes we get an... Now I should send it on a WhatsApp. So the more Guru people know, I have done something very great. I should post it on Instagram. 
Allah Ta'ala has rewarded me to do this and to do this. There was a very poor family and he rewarded me to help him and to support him with 20 pounds, with 30 pounds. And you know, this one, it has been done by me. This section is done by me. This so and so and so and so. When he mentioned again second time, Wa yuhibba an yudhkara bihi. And the first person when appreciated, this was the first fitna. This appreciation is make him something very different feeling. He then he start lying. The people should talk about it. This is the the fitna of yuhibbu li nafsihi. Whenever he said his intention, the people are talking on many things. But why not they talking about my action? Why these people are not talking? I have made this masjid. These people are discussing so many things. Why they don't mention? Uh, I made this madrasa. I am the chairman of this, I am the founder of this, I am the owner of this. In Ramadan, I am feeding so many people, Alhamdulillah. But these people, these five people, Haji Sahib, they were not talking about it. Why? Yuhibbu an yuzkara. So inside, this is, this is the biggest fitna. This is the nafs now. Wa yuhmad alayhi. Now he like to be mentioned and he want to be praised. Fa yumha min al now when you came to the position and you are looking for the people to praise you, this is called Riyah, this is called show. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove the reward of the action of openly, which is ten, eight, whatever it is you have achieved, and it is written Riya, it is written show of. So instead of Hasanat, now you take the burden of Sayyad. Wa inna riya shirkun and riya is shirk. See how the intention change your reward. Change your reward from 70 times to 10, from 10 to 0, from 0 it make it burden on you of sayya. So al innal ittiqa protection of amal is very important. And this is very common disease. I know the first thing when the people ask, I remember before when he used to Ask people to support these students, support these children. So the people told me, Allah Masa, when we are supporting, we need, uh, we have to highlight the faces of the children and the ID of the children. And after a little while, honestly, I realized this is a great fitna. The people are showing to the people, this child is supported by me, this child is helped by me. First of all, humiliation for the child, humiliation for the family. You know the way we have it started in, in channels. I never agreed with this. This child when become scholar, this child when become alim, this child when become something, because you have a picture and all of your life, just like a beggar, you will show him. I, um, I, um, you can imagine what, what I want to say. You understand? All of his life you made him, you, you made this person not, not a scholar, you made him beggar. All of his life is idea running with him. The people are asking for you to teach you, to make you hafiz, to make you alim, to make you kari. You were yatim, you were orphan. General picture sometime for, for attention is different, but even selling the idea of each other. We are humiliating people. And we are thinking, now we are doing hasana. Honestly, we are not doing hasana. We are in the name of hasana. I think we are doing sayyah. Could you imagine the family who is in a very critical condition and now I am selling the, the picture of the, the, the lady, the picture of the son, the picture of the daughter, the whole family. Tomorrow they will be in a different position, but these pictures will follow them all of their life. Let's say put yourself in a condition. I'm asking you as an ordinary person, suddenly something happened and you come in a position where you desperately need the help of someone. This could happen to anyone. And if someone take your picture when you are begging, when you are asking, when you, and the next day situation is changed, you are in a better position. But this picture is following you. The country, you know, you know, you are the, who you are. I supported you. I helped you. Here is the proof. So this is not the right way. And the secondly, it, 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 it gives the lazza to the nafs. Only 
the show of only the rea. If you want to support someone, and I say, listen, stop these picture selling. I myself, I said, no. If anyone, these people are generous, if these people are doing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and there is a trust, here is the hafiz, here is the alim, alima, or here is the, if they are doing for the sake of Allah, they should do it. If they don't have a trust, there is no need. Everything run or trust or not. If there is no trust between, leave it. Wherever you have trust, wherever you have a confidence, do it, hasana. So on the name of hasana, we don't have to feed our nafs, the nafs ammara. And if the intention is good, sleeping become ibadah. How? With this hadith. Abu Darda said the Prophet said, Man ata firasha wa wa yenwi an yakuma yusalli min al layli. A person came to his bed and before sleeping, his intention was, I will wake up night time and I will offer prayer. I will offer tahajjud prayer. I will offer two rakat prayer. I will. Fagalabatu aina wa hatta asbaha. But what's happened? Out of tiredness or out of any other reason, he opened. Well, we wake up in the morning, he couldn't make it. So he missed his tajud. Kutibalahu manava. The Prophet says, the reward will be for what he intended when he was sleeping. The reward for it will be for him what he intended while when he was sleeping, his intention was, I will wake up inshallah and I will offer tajud. Allah says, because of some reason you miss it, but your intention was pure, your sleep is become ibadah. Your rest become ibadah, and for you the reward of the mutahajjud, tahajjud, the one who offered tahajjud. Wakana naumu sadaqatan alihi min rabbi. Then what's happened with my dream, with my sleeping? The Prophet says, this sleeping period is a charity from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted to him. Now your sleep. Wakana naumu sadaqatan alihi min rabbi. Allah says, this is a charity for me, this is a sadaqa for me. So your time is regarded as offering salat because of your intention, but you are sleeping. Allah said, this is a charity from me and this is a reward and honor from me. So this is the charity of the dunya and the reward of akhirah. You offered salat, your intention was pure. See, in one hand, we lost the reward of 70 times just playing in the hand of shaitan. In other, our sleep becomes sadaqa and the period is written the one who is offering salat at night. So, whenever Allah gives you tawfiq to do any good act, please protect it. Protection is harder. Man ja'a bil hasana, falahu ashru am saliha. Allah says, whoever come with hasana, whoever come ja'a, who after doing good action, control it, keep it, and save it till last minute, and he came with this, Allah will reward him ten times. But kawlum ma'arufum wa maghfiratun khairun min sadaqatin yadbahu aza A one word and any good action is better than any charity which have humiliation afterwards or which have hurting someone feeling, humiliating someone or disrespecting someone. Allah says single word is better than it. La tubtilu sadaqatikum bil manni wal aza Allah says do not destroy your charities by humiliating people or bil manni wal aza and by inciting, telling the people, I have done something for you, I have supported you. <sighs> this is the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah give us tawfiq to do more hasana and give us tawfiq to protect it with our pure intention and protect us from the fitna of shaitan and fitna of nafs. Amin. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Walaqibatu lilmuttaqeen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafi l-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen. Allahumma la tata'alana dhamman illa ghafarat wa la deynan illa qadayt wa la haman illa farrajt. Wa la hajata min hawaiji al-dunia hiyya lana salam wa la karidha illa qadayt haya rabbal alameen. Bi rahmatika ya Allah.